I have with me now Francesco La Camera, Director General International Renewable Energy Agency. Irina, welcome to Abu Dhabi. Um, Everybody is asking, how far are we now from the Paris Agreement targets? As we have been saying in our report, in all the occasions we have, we are not on track. We're not being on track means that we need, uh, uh, for example, last year we have a record of more 300 gigawatts of renewable energy installed capacity. If we want to be in track, we need more renewables. This means that we have to have at least 1,000 gigawatts of renewable each year of new installer capacity. It means that we have to triple the speed of our transition. This means that we are not on track. Because uh, being on track, be in line with the 1.5 report of the IPCC. The IPCC, 45% reduction of CO2 in 2030. And the way to get there is to have more renewables into the energy system. Renewables now are less cost, yet it still have a long way to go, right? Uh, give us like a, a picture of the new energy mix. Did it change with the recent changes around the world? You know, that's, uh, uh, first of all, renewables today are the, the recognized most convenient way to produce electricity. So this is largely true. And uh, concerning uh, where we are going, there is no doubt. All the numbers say very clear that we are going to a new energy system. It will be largely dominated by renewables, complemented by hydrogen, mainly green, and a sustainable use of biomass. This is where we are going. But the fact that we are going not at the speed and the scale that may put us in track for the achievement of the Paris Agreement goals. Mm -hmm. And the nuclear energy? You know, that's what we have just commented here. Uh, I'm, I have nothing to say against or in favor of uh, nuclear energy. I'm promoting renewables. The only thing that we should say that everyone, the IPCC, that uh, 2030 will be the decisive year to be in track or not to track to achieve the Paris Agreement. So we have to use in this decade the technologies that will give an impact and the result now. Or at least we have to uh, dedicate enough resources to this process. This means again 1,000 gigawatt of new renewable installer capacity each year. If you can do more than that, okay, but the 1,000 gigawatts should be there. What solutions can be expected from COP28? You know, that we strongly wish that uh, the COP28 will bring us to a new narrative for closing the gap of where we should be and where we are. And this new narrative is based on three main uh, area work, three main pillars, three main barriers that has to be overcome. The physical infrastructure, so we need to renew this, the grid, land grid, sea grid, sea route, trade routes, port. So the infra physical infrastructure, we have to review and make consistent with supporting of the new energy system. This applies also for the legal and policy area work. We are still, this instrument are looking to the past and to the future, as we have to strengthen the institutional capacity and review also our professional skill to be in line with the, with the future that is coming and not the past that is already gone. Thank you.